Peter Farr is Columbo. My name is uh, Columbo. The shrewdest, most resourceful detective. Oh, I can tell you that. On the L.A. police force. Come on, we're drinking this afternoon. He drives a beat-up car, wears a rumpled trench coat, and always gets his man. Can I ask you a question? There's only one Columbo. The KDOC TV Saturday Mystery Movie at 12 noon and 9 p.m. Your excitement is here. And we're back, and of course, the familiar face of Bill Ban... I, I almost said Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, what a low blow. The familiar face of <laughs> Bill Bancroft, major domo of... Patrol One. Patrol One Security. That's right. Billy Bancroft, you can talk to him personally for a small fee. No, no, no. He, no, he, for an insignificant fee. Yeah. You'll be glad to talk to you him. You will. About anything. That's right. Mainly security. He does security of any kind. Personal security, home security, business security. You name it. We do it, and we do it good. He watches over me to make sure that, uh, that I'm always safe. And I'm still here, aren't I? That's right. Call Patrol One, mention Wally George, and you get a special discount in your fee. You can't get a better security company than Patrol One, right? That's it. Thank you, Wally. There's the number on your screen, 541-0999. Look for their little black trucks all over town. It says Patrol One. More and more of them every week. People tell me they see your... your, your are they little trucks? Yeah, we use uh, all brand new Toyota Tacomas. We, we've tried everything, and they seem to work out the best, and uh, we've got a slug of them. We add more almost every month. We're adding another one to the fleet. Because of the Wally George show. That's exactly it. It's exactly tough to right. keep up. That's right. I've brought, Bill, a lot of, uh, a lot of new clients. They say, well, if Wally says you're good, you must be good. That's right. Between the two of us, we're beating down the ugly head of crime all over at least Orange County. There's Hillary giving, giving a press conference. Yep. Did you, well, is, it, that, is, it, is she wearing a pantsuit oh, there? Yeah, she's always, she what, wears, is, what is the deal with she that? Wears, she wears nothing with pant, but, but pantsuits now. She's been trying to wear the pants for a long time, and now, now she's, she's got her own pants. That's well, right. Well, that's, that's progress, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Okay. The debut uh, of, of Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton, while promising initially, has become a disaster, says the L.A. Times. Whoa, coming from the Times, that's... High criticism. Well, I'll, they'll tell you why. Okay. For the new senator from New York, mounting questions about what she and her husband did and did not know when Clinton issued, issued last-minute pardons to felons and a fugitive are a monumental embarrassment to her. To us all. This new episode and other ethical questions that have shadowed Senator Clinton during her transition from the White House to the Capitol, a mega deal for her memoirs, the acceptance of a shower of gifts from wealthy friends have come at the worst possible time for her and her party. Ooh. So That's there she is. Pretty damning. And it was so funny. It, you didn't see the see the press conference. No, I didn't. It was so funny. Uh, she was she was. Uh, it was almost doing a, an impersonation of Billy Boy. Every question they asked about Hugh, her brother, you know, and uh -huh. the money and you know, blah blah. I really don't know. I don't recall. I don't know. Uh, you'll, you'll have to ask him. You'll have to... Uh, I don't know. I have no recollection. That's all she was saying. Yeah, she learned from the best. All those years, she, she picked it remember. up. doesn't remember. I well, don't recall. you got to wonder why we elect people who have such poor memories. It is you know? amazing, isn't it? It must be catching because she and Bill just don't seem to remember anything. Yeah, I, th I think it is catching. They've just been together too long. I think they remember how much money they have. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right about that. See, there, there they are. There they they're, are. They're so happy with each other because they've, the two of them have collected so much money together. Yeah. That they're just thrilled with each other. And to say nothing of that whole bag full of the W's off all the the keyboards there. Oh, what kind of yeah. nonsense was that? 
the staff trashed the uh, uh, the, the offices, the executive offices, the executive office in in the, uh, uh, in the White House. In the White House. Yeah, took all the W's off of the keyboards. That's but, juvenile. Can you imagine that. What what juvenile. a bunch of dunderheads they uh, they they must have. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if 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 Clinton himself got involved in that. <laughs> Prying mean, off those W's in the middle of the night. Oh huh? yeah, and, and they and, and, and they put graffiti on the walls. Yeah, yeah. And they and, and they cut telephone cords. Is that right? I yeah. didn't even know that. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I mean, what kind of idiots? Idiots. Now, now you know, uh, uh, who is the guy who used to be his spokesperson and now works for ABC? Oh, uh, uh, Stephanopoulos. Uh, George Stephanopoulos. Yeah. He came out and, boy, trashed Clinton. Rightfully so. And uh, we understand that Bill Clinton is, is very unhappy with his uh, former spokesperson. Yeah. There was nobody more loyal to Bill Clinton than George Stephanopoulos. George Stephanopoulos. Yeah. And now he's saying things that he's done and these pardons and so forth are just unforgivable. Just they are unforgivable and Clinton is not happy at all well so what oh well too bad for him so and beside that I want to talk also about the fact that he at our expense because we the taxpayers have to pay for ex-presidents to have an office he, he stepped right out and and what did he get for an office how much oh, was yeah. that yeah he gets he uh, he rents a penthouse suite paid for by the taxpayers yep. for eight uh, no uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Good. Now th the other living presidents like Carter and Ford, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, get uh, uh, have offices that cost about two hundred thousand dollars a year. So he was almost four times as much. That's right. And uh, so when everybody said no way, he says, "Well, I belong in Harlem." Uh, so I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be. We'll talk more about this tomorrow about about his his uh, uh, entree into Harlem, Harlem's Bill Clinton. We'll talk about that and about Jesse Jackson. Oh, okay. The, the very moral and decent Jesse Jackson. But uh, right right now uh, we take a little break, and I'll be right back with some final words. There.